But still to come, we're going to meet the doll that is causing a bit of a stir. It's the Lottie doll, designed to have a more realistic body shape and has become a major success, with sales now recorded in over 30 countries. Yeah, we'll be speaking to the woman behind the toy. That's a little later in the show. You're with Business Live from BBC News. Now, with Christmas just around the corner, many children will be writing their Christmas list. But amid all the choice, young children are all too often being exposed to violent computer games, overly sexual clothing, and many parents are worried that the innocence of childhood is being lost at an earlier and earlier age. So there is increasing demand for more, what some would call, wholesome toys. And so here we welcome Lottie the doll. It's based on a real nine-year-old and unlike its most famous rival Barbie, it doesn't have any unrealistic unre body shapes. Yeah, the doll was launched by the British company Arclu and uh, has already won support from campaigners, including the Campaign for Body Confidence. She's also been rather popular. Lottie is now available in 30 countries and in 3,000 stores around the world. And the woman behind this doll, our Clues co-founder and creative director, Lucy Follett. Now, along with her business partner, she has built the startup into a global brand by, as she says, letting kids be kids. And I'm pleased to say that she joins us in the studio. In fact, this she's been trying to <laughs> <laughs> arrange these without them falling down. Lucy, you do Hello. a great job. <laughs> You've got one there to pass me, haven't yes, you? Yes, she's, Th she's this is not in the box. Fossil Hunter Lottie. So and just uh, just explain all these dolls because they are obviously based on the on a night a real nine year old girl's yes, body that, shape. That's correct. But also. It, it's not about princesses and that kind of thing solely. I mean, as she illustrates, this is about other roles that girls can play. Uh, absolutely. Um, we really wanted to show that there are many ways to be a girl. Um, we uh, created a doll body that's based on the average proportions of a nine-year-old girl. Lottie doesn't wear makeup, jewellery or high heels. And she's doing all the activities that real kids do, whether that's... Um, karate, sports, uh, ballet, stargazing, fossil hunting, a whole wide range of activities. I must admit I didn't do any fossil hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? But an interesting <laughs> thing here is that these dolls are, uh, and the, the storylines that mm. go with them and their careers and mm. their interests, uh, this is done from crowdsourcing. You've got kids absolutely. to tell you what they want these dolls to be able to do. A absolutely. And, and the one that you're holding there, that stargazer Lottie, that's actually been designed by a six-year-old girl called Abigail in Canada. Her mother wrote to us saying, my daughter loves a astronomy, she'd love you to create a stargazer Lottie. And we thought, hmm, there's definitely something in this. So Abigail created the clothes ideas. Also, she came up with the ideas for some of the packaging themes as well. Um, and that's really a, a big USP of our business, the fact that it's all about kids in terms of their own activities, but also their ideas uh, as well got you started? Why did you start this business? Well, um, my business partner and I, Ian, um, we both saw that there was a real need in the market for something that was different, uh, definitely far more value driven, and that parents wanted something more for their kids than uh, was currently out there um, with uh, other fashion dolls. <laughs> and uh, so we spent 18 months doing a lot of research with parents, uh, retailers um, as well as uh, child, psycho uh, child psychologists and that culminated in Lottie. But this is equally applicable to boys when we're talking about body image because it strikes mm. me that in the way that we, we're discussing mm. body image for girls Absolutely. and the unrealistic expectation of what Barbie for example yeah. is or Cindy or other dolls. Um, for boys it's the same, it's Action Man, it's mm. G.I. Joe, it's WWF figures. Mm. I mean you have a, a, a boy doll, Finn. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and that is very, based very much on the same principles isn't yeah, it? Yeah, uh, absolutely. And um, we, we actually created Finn as a result of emails that we received from parents. They were saying my, both my daughters and sons play with Lottie. We'd love you to create uh, a boy equivalent. Um, so again we created um, a, a boy figure and we really wanted to get him doing all the activities that kids do of that age. Um, kids enjoy playing with each other. We didn't want to put him in a, a boyfriend role or a, anything on this um, level. I'm briefly, sorry, no, go on. Uh, just to say, how did you get, I know your, your original mm. background was investment banking. Yes, how did <laughs> I you escaped. How did you get from investment <laughs> banking to creating 
<laughs> dolls like this? Well, um, <laughs> I again, um, it was through a combination of different factors. Um, it was meeting my business partner, Ian. His background uh, was as finance director of a toy company. Mm -hmm. And together, um, we met um, through friends of friends, went out for an evening back in December 2010. And that was at the time when William and Kate got engaged. And I, I said to Ian, there's a real opportunity here. Mm. We should create a Kate Middleton themed doll. And that's what we did. So four months later, no sleep, a huge amount of work. Uh, we ended up uh, launching our Kate Middleton themed doll in Hamleys. It went worldwide, uh, followed up four months later with the Royal Wedding Dolls. We did receive um, uh, permission from Clarence House to do this and gave uh, a charity donation to Help for Heroes and the RNLI. Um, but that gave us the necessary cash and also, I think, credibility that mm. we could actually bring a product to market. And then from that, we decided to build our own brand and here we are. Here we are. And I'm afraid, Lucy, we ran out of time. And actually, whilst <laughs> Ben and Lucy were chatting there, I was just really enjoying playing with <laughs> I was just going to say, I really <laughs> wish you'd been able to see Sally just stroking the hair of that dog. But the it's the magnifying too. glass. She keeps dropping a magnifying glass. She hasn't got a firm grip, this one. Yeah, but I've got a she's telescope. Got <laughs> but she's great yeah. at finding fossils. Yeah, not that I'm, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> my telescope's better than Can I see one here in the studio with me? Thanks so much oh, for coming in. It's been great to have you on the programme. Thanks so much.